and welcome back to the garage. After I broke off that bolt that holds in the wheel speed sensor on the flex, drilling it out, I was not completely centered, so I ended up damaging the threads on the aluminum spindle as I pulled it out. So what I have to do is I have to replace that. If you do much work, especially with aluminum, you're going to find that threads get pulled uh, fairly frequently, and so you need a repair kit. There's a brand name called Helicoil. They're fairly expensive. This is a cheap version of that, uh, purchased off of Amazon. Basically, it's just a helical insert of threads. So all we have to do is you're going to drill it to oversize. So let's say I'm going on that one, it's a six millimeter. You drill it oversized with the drill bit that's provided. You then tap it with a tap that is the size of these inserts. So then we have an insert. And this insert is just a coil of wire here. And so you tap it, and then you use an insertion tool to thread the insert down into the larger hole, then the inside of this insert is the size of the thread that you originally needed. So you run it down in, and then you use, they provide you a little punch, you push it down in, and it snaps off that little tab right there that was used for insertion. And then you've got new threads in the, the hole. It's actually uh, pretty common to use them. And in fact, factories use them for replacement. So it's a, it's a very good, solid uh, replacement. Let's take a look at how I use this for fixing that Ford Flex, uh, starting with drilling out the existing bolt. All right, now that we've got it drilled out, and the broken bolt out, we're going to use the drill bit that comes with the helical thread uh, inserts. This one is a, looks like a 6.2. Then we'll tap it with the tap that came with the kit as well. kit came with a bunch of these inserts, so these will thread into the existing hole, so the outside of these fits this thread, and then the inside fits the thread of the bolt we're going in. These threads are steel, so the reality is it would have been far better if they had just done this from the factory because then we would have had steel threads of the bolt going into steel threads. So we have this insertion tool here. It's got a notch here. So we pass through from the back side in, and then that goes down into that V group. And this goes in. This is one of the difference between the cheaper ones and a helicoil brand. This one you can see flops around in here. The helicoil brand, the insertion tool is the exact right set, uh, size, and they tend to be, they're actually threaded as well. But this should work. You wanna go so that it's just about a thread, maybe a thread and a half further in. So we don't want any of the coil sticking out. So you can see it now has threads all the way through there. Now that the insert is in, we can use a test bolt. Make sure that it's working. Threads in nicely by hand. So we can remove that. Once you've verified it works, there's a punch tool, and that's all this is, is a punch. Put it in there, we give it a tap to 
push it all the way through and that breaks off that little tab that we were using for turning we're just pushing against it and snapping it off and there we go the threads are repaired now we can get it all back together